been interested in exploring in my research for the last um, 10 years is the way that um, teachers um, and learners engage with technology and how that might impact on their identity and the shift in their identity um, and notions of belonging. So I've been working with a system called PebblePad but what I'm really interested in is collaborative learning through blogging. Most recently I've been working on a paper about emotions and learning and the role that emotions can have in engagement with academic practices, I guess. And that's built on uh, an interest in learning theory and an interest in uh, the importance of relationships uh, within learning theory, which I think is probably under-researched. I'm involved in a project at the moment which is um, interested in the relationship between um, theory um, and practice, and, and it, it's partly about um, engaging the teachers um, and their students. It's partly also about collaboration. But the vehicle that we're using to address the business of what theory is and how it works within a course is, uh, is quite a significant intervention by Roland Barthes in the 50s, mythologies. My research is centred around learning and learners' experiences of learning. Um, it's essential to support effective learning uh, by the way that teachers prepare, plan, organise, scaffold, mediate and perform their practice so that learners engage in appropriate ways to either hone skills, enhance their understanding of concepts or encounter new material to become more knowledgeable. Um, research interests, well I'm, I'm really interested in um, computer games and basically the reason why I'm interested in computer games is because uh, many years ago I've got two dyslexic kids and they both started to learn to read better or improve their skills by using computer games. Um, so that brought me on to um, looking at um, what people did outside of school in terms of using digital technology and digital tools and their digital habits and um, how that might be utilised within schooling. So could we use the grammar of games in schooling? Uh, can we gamify activities? And all this is about really making things more interesting, making things more purposeful and authentic in terms of learning in school. I'm particularly interested in looking at how vulnerable learners are perceived within the school and how they are monitored and assessed. Um, one particular research that I've done recently was looking at the use of Lean Six Sigma in developing uh, or raising achievement and attainment of vulnerable learners, in particular um, traveller community. Because it was through uh, talking to the traveller community, it would appear they've got distinct feelings and perceptions of how they are being treated and how learning is relevant to them. I'm particularly interested in social and cultural constructions of childhood, um, and particularly in children who fall outside of that. Um, so my PhD was about, um, it's called the cultural significance of the child star and it's looking at how the media constructs um, a, na a certain narrative about uh, child stars and child stardom that uh, tends to stigmatise the individuals who, who are involved in that. Um, but my research uh, was, the methodology that I, I used was discourse analysis, sort of broadly discourse analysis. Um, I looked at uh, lots of newspaper articles and magazine articles and news reports about child stars um, and also the historical construction of child stars and um, discovered that they're um, constructed in, in both a way that makes them powerful and powerless. Um, so there was a sort of contradiction there. I'm a media educator originally and a lot of my research has been around um, the kind of cultural politics of media education, particularly in relation to other text conscious subjects like, for example, English. And increasingly I've become interested in how uh, new media forms such as online media, social media, video games um, have entered into the kind of um, uh, the world of education in terms of how uh, popular culture and technology are studied and I'm interested in the interplay between uh, the potential of those new media forms uh, to be learning tools in themselves and their status as objects of study. There's a lot of my work is around um, ideas about cultural value, what's worthy of study, what's not worthy of study and particularly the relationship between media studies, media education and subjects like English.